Now that we have installed everything, it's time to clone our project from GitHub and set up our demo application. First, let's open the correct folder in Visual Studio. As you can see, we have this open folder button, but in case you don't have it, you can always go to file and open folder and you will arrive at the same window. The next step is to navigate to your XAMPP installation folder. In this computer, we installed XAMPP on the C drive. There is the XAMPP folder and what we need is the htdocs folder. So we have to double click and then we can select the folder. So we have to select the htdocs folder. Let's select it. We can close this welcome tab. However, we need this terminal. And if this terminal doesn't appear for you, then you can always, I can, I mean, I can close it and you can always start it from the terminal tab. So terminal, new terminal. And as you can see, we have a new terminal and we are in the correct folder. So in the htdocs folder. Now we can clone our demo application from our public GitHub repository. So let's navigate to the Laravel payment starter repository. Uh, this is the URL where you can find it. What we have to do is come to this green button, code, and then we have to copy this uh, URL. Okay, it's copied. Now let's get back to Visual Studio Code. It's not enough to just paste this URL. We have to actually write git clone. So we are running the git clone program. Now I can paste the URL. So we are cloning this repository. And I press enter and now we have to wait. As you can see, a new folder appeared, this Laravel Payment Starter folder. Now I also have a Laravel Payment Starter old folder, but uh, you should not have it. So this is the new folder that appeared in our site panel in Visual Studio Code. I will close this terminal and actually the next step what we uh, have to do is to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So I will just go to File, Open Folder and I'm here in the XAMPP folder, so htdocs and Laravel Payment Starter, so I have to select this uh, cloned folder. I will just close this welcome page. As you can see, we are in the correct folder, so we are in the Laravel Payment Starter folder. As you can see, there is a .env .example file. Now rename it to .env simply. What is important for us in this uh, env file is that we can provide an app name. So the app name is Sonic Payments for a demo application. We are free to change this actually, but it uh, really doesn't matter. What matters is that you have an app key here, but uh, I already provided for you in the .env.example file. So if you just renamed the, the .example file to .env, then you should have this app key and it should be fine. But the most important thing is that we have our database uh, data here. As you could see in previous videos, I have a fresh install of MySQL. So my database username is root. I didn't make a new user and I didn't provide any password for my root user. So uh, these two lines of code are good for me. But of course, if you have a, another user, then you have to provide it here. And if you have a password for that user, then you have to provide the password here. But most importantly, you have to provide the database name here. And as you remember, our database name now is Sonic underscore payments. And then we can just save the env file. So at this point, we should be able to connect to our database. However, first we have to do something else. So let's open a new terminal. And we will install our dependencies. So the dependencies of the demo application through Composer. Under dependencies, I mean, for example, the Stripe SDK or the Braintree SDK that we're going to use for Braintree and Stripe payments respectively. And actually Laravel itself has a lot of dependencies that have to be installed. So what you can do is to run the composer install command. You could theoretically run the composer update a command as well. However, then the dependencies will be updated and you will not use the same version of the dependencies that I'm using 
With the Composer install command, however, you are going to have the same exact versions of the same exact dependencies that I'm using in this course. So I'm going to run the Composer install command. We can just press enter and we have to wait. Okay, our dependencies have been successfully installed, so the last thing before we could open our project is to migrate and seed our database. What it means is that in the database folder under migrations, we have all these files that are going to create our database tables for us in Laravel, for example, the users table. However, we also have a seeders uh, folder in which we have a uh, database seeder files so we are going to seed some data that the demo application has to use for example we will seed a lot of currencies into our demo application but i can just close this file now and the command that we have to run now it doesn't matter i can just uh, press enter so the command that we have to run now php artisan migrate colon fresh then uh, double dash seed this is going to migrate all our database table into our sonic underscore payments database and it will also see the data based on the seeder files that we have All right, the database was seeded successfully. So we now really have everything to finally start our demo application. So make sure that your XAMPP is running. I mean, if it's not running your MySQL and Apache, then you cannot seed. So uh, if um, you encounter the problem, it might be. So if your XAMPP is running correctly, then let's just uh, open a browser and Let's navigate to localhost slash Laravel payment starter. And here we are. Our demo application has been successfully installed.